A new program in Racine called Group Violence Intervention launches in just a few days. Its purpose to stop violence before it happens. This intervention focuses on 18 to 30 year olds impacted by guns. It's the one and only, and he came with that cheese like Master Charlie. Local rapper, 22 year old Isaiah Lambert, knows the effects of gun violence. Flashing money, chasing girls, and talking junk on songs, and you know, it actually put a target on my back. Three years ago, he was robbed at gunpoint. I had to make that decision whether to ret retaliate or, uh, you know, turn a negative into a positive. And that's what he did, creating a put the guns down basketball league. Lambert didn't want to lose another friend to gun violence. I lost guys 18, 19, same age as me. Now he's involved with the Racine Group Violence Intervention, or GVI, a new collaboration between law enforcement and other agencies to identify gun crimes involving 18 to 30 year olds. The statistics also said that much to our surprise that it wasn't really the juveniles who were leading in char the charge on the gun crime, but it was really the adults. We have high capacity weapons that are out there and available to our to individuals uh, that should not be carrying them. Racine Police Chief Alex Ramirez tells me overall crime in the city is down 15% compared to this time last year. One thing that always uh, that is affects us is the gun violence. We want to provide you an off ramp that does not end in death or incarceration. And that is where our intensive outreach specialists come in. Department of Community Safety Director John Tate II tells me within GVI there are two intensive outreach specialists. Lambert is one of them. My job is to connect with the guys that are most high risk to gun violence. So whether that's to shoot somebody or to be shot. Connecting on a personal level and also a resourceful one. To the connection to mental health services, to the connection with employment and education. The overall goal is to offer help to save lives. People have been dying. Um, have been killing one another and lives have been lost. I might can't save everybody's lives, but one life is good enough. Now, step one for this summer is getting those two intensive outreach specialists out into the community for those direct conversations with those who are at high risk. In the meantime, staff is building relationships with providers to ensure that the work gets results.